Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. And today, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon by doing something Disney related. In terms of the movies, shows, or something I guess you can say. I guess, anyway, for this video, as you can already read by the title alone, of course, again, doing something in relation to the Disney princesses. So, yeah, I'm doing this again, so what would you do? It's my channel, I do whatever I want with it. But yeah, I guess, uh, to be more exact, I suppose, trying to find some, you know, being feminine and whatnot. But I know the context of, of a faith, Christianity and whatnot. Yeah, I was doing one of these kind of videos again and whatnot. And personally speaking, I don't necessarily believe you have to be Christian to find femininity but I know this was a topic that comes to a lot of people especially during Halloween yeah going in this direction I know a lot of Christians out there are uncomfortable with Halloween because they said it's a pagan holiday which it is but it does come off rather hypocritical because they didn't mind it taking Christmas away from the pagans because Christmas was originally a pagan holiday, but okay, whatever, not really going into that too much. It's Christians and princes in this case, because trying to find some femininity in the princess one up, but in terms of the, you know, of the princess and, and Christianity. So, of course, especially during Halloween, of course, obviously, I'm pretty sure that there's going to be lots of Christian households, and those who don't mind it really anyway. We'll put candy out in the porch or whatever, but there's a good chance that you're going to find a lot of little girls who are going to be dressed up as a Disney princess. And sometimes a little boys too. I'm not going to judge her, but let's not kid ourselves. That does happen. Again, not judging. But, you know, of course it's common for little girls to dress up as this. And yeah, there's a likelihood that they would, of course, pick a princess. But... I know it comes a question that would the parents choosing the right type of princess uh, be thoughtful? I guess that's the only way that they to be thoughtful. The parents need to be really careful, I guess, in other words. Which is ridiculous because when it comes to femininity, it shouldn't be just one specific way. Being feminine should be in more ways than one. So as far as I'm concerned, being one specific type of femininity isn't really a good thing. I mean, yeah, of course, you have to be compassionate, patient, graceful, and it's something that represents, you know, something womanly, obviously, and whatnot. Of course, it's when it comes to this kinds of character traits and whatnot, of course, there's going to be something, you know, it could be recommended, to be that's a requirement for these kinds of stuff. And yes, I do realize when it comes to these princess type characters, it definitely changes over years. Okay, what makes a princess character feminine? Of course, this does come into question when you think about it. So being feminine and whatnot, of course, the, there's the old princess characters like Cinderella. A lot of people will automatically think of them when it comes to being feminine, the classic femininity. And then, of course, it's not exactly quite the same when it comes to you know, the first Frozen film. That's because of the time, of course, in which these movies were made. Frozen 1 and the first Cinderella film are both films that I can say that are products of the time. Which in itself doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing per se. But I know a lot of Christian when it comes to women anyway, they want the classic femininity in the traditional old Christian believing films, I guess. The old princess movies have nothing to do with with Christianity, of course, but I know the like I said, Frozen has a different type of a princess, which is fine. But a lot of these people, when it comes to these kinds of characters, a lot of these characters, a lot of people want to use them, like Cinderella, like I just said a moment ago. What would be used as a way to have a reflection of how Christian women should be, which is odd because I like these films. Okay, so say all of your films have nothing to do with Christianity, like at all, zip, zero, and that doesn't mean they can't believe in something. That's the thing a lot of people seem to think that you have to be a Christian to believe in something, not necessarily. 
Yeah, I know. You can kind of think about, like, again, with, like, Cinderella, for example. There's a sort of archetype of character princesses, of course, when it comes to, you know, these old-fashioned princess characters. Um, and, of, of course, some people might see, might want to think about, is Cinderella a role model or not for the Christian maiden? Hood kind of thing, gentle, brave, and heroic, courageous, and forgiving. Uh, I mean, okay, you can say Senator is forgiving and whatnot. Yeah, she's all those things, but one thing I was definitely disagree with she doesn't have to be a Christian to be all that. Cinderella can still be, you know, brave, uh, you know, uh, uh, brave, courageous, forgiving, gentle, and all that. She's still gonna be that. But she doesn't necessarily have to be Christian to be those things. At least I don't believe so. But, you know, a lot of people like to use that character as a way of to support what they believe in that, of course. But, you know, in a lot of ways, to try to use her as an example. Another one is what I can think of is characters like Snow White from Snow White and Seven Drawers really brought up because, hey, she's purely good, purely fied. If since she's all pure and whatnot and all good, then she must be a Christian. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense as far as I'm concerned because why do you specifically have to be a Christian in order to be feminine and be purely good when it, when it comes to women? I'm not saying you could be feminine and good and Christian at the same time, but Acting as if that's the only specification in order to be those things is just ridiculous as far as I'm concerned. So give me a break here. So anyway, as always, thanks for watching and take care. Later.